Hey guys, this is Jim K and 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So, you know, the last untold number of videos I did was playing with Tiger Tails and I thought that would never end. It ended. It's done. This is not about Tiger Tails, but I do want to talk about HT antennas a little bit. So you can see here laying in front of me, I've got a stash of HT antennas laid out and I've got our rig expert sitting out here long as well as an adapter for the rig expert so what i want to do is i want to put each one of these antennas on the rig expert and then we're going to uh, give it a test and see what it looks like on the rig expert itself now some of these antennas you can't accident you can't actually identify some of them are pretty obvious what they are and some of them even have a name on them a couple of them are also uh, unlabeled, but also still obvious. This is a B-Tech antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up each of these to the Rig Expert. I'm going to pull up AntScope, the software that lets us drive this, and we'll take a look at a full screen version of an SWR sweep for 2 meters and 440 for each of these antennas and, and do a little comparison. Now, the other thing I'm going to say before we get to the testing part, one of these antenna manufacturers has posted something on their website that says, listen, you can test our antennas on a test meter and you're not going to get very good results, but that doesn't really tell you real world results. Okay. Fair, fair statement, I guess. However, that's kind of a subjective thing. Real world, real world results vary from what I, what I perceive and what you perceive. So in my mind, the only way to get an, uh, an objective test and not a subjective test is to test it with test gear. And I think we can all agree that a rig expert is a pretty solid piece of gear. So we're going to use that. The other thing that some people might mention is, well, you're testing the antennas inside and this isn't providing a proper ground plane and it's different when it's on a radio and yada, 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 yada. I don't disagree that the results may be slightly different when it's on a radio. However, I don't think the results are going to be vastly different. And for the purposes of this test, honestly, we're looking at relative differences between these antennas. All of them are going to be tested the same way. So whether an antenna tests well with this methodology or tests poorly, I feel that's going to be pretty much a reflection of its real world performance. We're testing them all under the same circumstances with the same piece of test gear. The only difference is that some of them are male SMA and some are female. So I may have to use an adapter to hook up the antenna to the radio, or I mean to the uh, rig expert. But that's the only real difference there's going to be in any of these tests. Most of these uh, don't require the adapter. I think I have two antennas that don't require it, maybe three, something like that. I've got the antennas labeled. And then after we look at the results of all the antennas, then I'm gonna go do a real world test. Uh, I'm gonna take each of them and put them on the same radio and go out to my shop, which is about 150 feet away from here, which is where the two meter antenna is at on the roof. And we'll test and see what they sound like. And then, that gives us some objective results, and that gives us some subjective results. And then we can go from there and see what they look like. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to jump in and set up the software, and we'll get started. Okay, so we're in Rig Expert here. This is uh, AntScope software. This works with the Rig Expert. You could do these same tests with a Nano VNA. It would absolutely work just the exact same way. You've probably seen the Smoke and Ape use his Nano VNA in one of his many videos on the Nano VNA. Chuck and I, we love our rig experts long time. So I'm going to go through the list, A through whatever the last one is, F. There is no C. The C antenna does not have, uh, it's a BNC on the bottom, and I don't have a BNC adapter in here, and I'm way too lazy to go find one. So we're just going to skip that antenna. I'm going to hook up each antenna in order. We'll run the sweep, and you'll see them both together, and then we'll zoom in on 2 meters and 440 and take a closer look. All right, antenna A, this one, we know what it is. It's a signal stick. Uh, 
All right, great. Let's jump to our next one. Antenna B is a Nagoya 777. And let's do our sweep. And this will be a different color line for each antenna. So we'll be able to tell which is which. That was antenna B. There is no C. We're going to go to antenna D now. Looks a lot different on two meters, doesn't it? But not so great on 440 on that one particularly. All right. And then antenna E. Very sharp dip at two meters. Antenna F. Pretty similar performance to uh, antenna E. Now let's zoom in and take a quicker look at each of the bands real quick and see what they look like up close. So let's go over here and zoom that in. And then as I click on each of these, it'll highlight that trace. There's antenna A, the red line. Pretty flat, about three-ish to one across uh, two meters. There's antenna B. Looks um, pretty terrible at two meters. Antenna D, there is no C. That's the red line. Antenna E, down there, the orange bottom, orange line down here. And antenna F, which is the purple line. So that's the two meter setup. Let's take a quick look at what this looks like on 440. And these are the traces we just ran. Same, same ones, nothing's changed. So if we spread that out, we can spread out 440 where we can see it. Antenna A, red line about ooh, starts around eight and a half to one and gets down to six. Antenna B, the green line, starts at 4.8 and drops to about 4.2. Antenna D, this guy up here, starts at eight. Is that right? Yep. Starts at eight and drops down to about um, 7.2. Antenna E is the orange line, starts at about 4.1 and drops to about 3.1. And then antenna F starts at 3.2 and drops down to about uh, somewhere around 2.6 down here at the end. So that is what our sweeps look like. Now, I could run more data points and we could do this again. It also looks like I cut this a little short, but you can see the trend, the curves all were. Um, they may be better up here in this tiny tail end that I managed to not grab, but that's fine. Now, the next thing we wanna do that we have all this data, let's do the field test. So I'm going to go out by my shop, which is about 50, 60 yards, something like that. I've never measured it. And I'm going to use each one of these antennas on the same HT. We'll monitor on the 9700 here in my office and see if there's any difference in sound. All right. This is a subjective part of our test today. Antenna test, antenna A, antenna A, one, two, three, four, five. Five four three two one antenna A and four Y C D and four Y C D antenna B antenna B one two three four five five four three two one antenna B A and four Y C D A and four Y C D antenna D antenna D one two three four five five four three two one antenna D antenna D A and four Y C D and four YCD antenna E, antenna E, one two three four five five four three two one antenna E, antenna E, K and four YCD, K and four YCD antenna F, antenna F, one two three four five five four three two one 
antenna F, antenna F, KN4 YCD. Okay, guys, that completes objective testing and subjective testing. Did you hear a whole lot of difference in any of those antennas? So the test setup for the over-the-air test was I was a mile away standing outside my pickup truck in a church parking lot swapping antennas. We're receiving it here on the 9700 at the house. They all sounded fine to me. Maybe antenna DEF sounded a little better. I think E probably one of the best. I don't know that uh, that you'd ever notice that difference unless you listen to them side by side. For what it's worth, the antennas we tested today are the signal stick. That's antenna A. Antenna B is our Nagoya. 777, that's B. Antenna C, there is no C. Antenna D is this antenna, which I believe is a Yesu FT5D antenna. That's what came with it. Antenna E is the antenna off of a Baofeng UV6R. And antenna F is the antenna that came on a BTEC 6X2 radio. And I know that for sure because it's the one with the cool orange end on it. I used the 6X2 on high power to do the tests. So there's the test setup. Guys, that's all I've got for today. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you share this video with your friends and help feed the YouTube content machine so other hams can find out some of the stuff that I'm doing that may interest them. If you would give me a thumbs up, Make sure you click the subscribe button below as well as the bell. Ring that bell. That way you get notified whenever I post any new content. Gentlemen, ladies, thank you very much. Have a great day. 73.